Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you're watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video, I am going to talk about the map art option, which is there where when we apply one of the 3D options, then we will get this map art option. It is pretty easy to use and it is very effective in your designs, but people sometimes get confused while using this uh, effect. So let's get started. So to begin with, I will draw a simple rectangle and I will remove the fill color and you can apply any color to the outline I will increase the stroke width slightly now using the effect 3d option now this is an older layout so you may see 3d and then you have to go to legacy option or maybe classic options classic 3d option then you will get these three options so i'm going to use extrude and bevel now i will increase the depth like this if you want to change the color of the outline you can simply change the color slightly less okay if you want to change the color you can simply change the color using this option so this is how it looks now if i want to apply this particular design into any of the sides so first we need to convert this particular design into a symbol now remember you can convert this to a symbol and it can be an image as well it doesn't have to be a object it can be a image also so i will select this and convert it into a symbol using this option if you don't find this symbol option over here simply go to window and turn on the symbol option from here symbols now go to symbols now keep this selected and using this plus option you can name it whatever you want so i will name this one and this doesn't really matter so choose anything and okay now this is a symbol that this is very important if you don't convert this into symbol then you won't see the option in map art so again select this now one more mistake that people make uh, while adding the map art they try to go to the map art from here but it will undo the previous value so instead of going from here if you want to alter the option or the value or the effect you can simply go to appearance panel and again if you don't find appearance panel over here simply go to window and appearance so go to appearance panel and you can see the option 3d extrude and be well so click now from here we can edit as we want now this is the option i'm talking about map art and we have some more options but i'm not going to cover this these options in this particular video because i'm focusing on map art option so go to map art and we have already converted this into a symbol now select the side as you can see this area is highlighted so this area is now selected or active so go ahead next surface now as you can see this one is active so simply go to symbol and i will select one as you can see now fit the symbol accordingly and if you want we can apply the same symbol on multiple sides like this so let's say i want to apply the same symbol on this side so again select symbol and let's say i want to rotate this like so again adjust accordingly i'm just applying it randomly there is no purpose in this design as you can see this is now applied okay and you can see this by rotating this is now applied and similarly if you want to apply to a circle you can do that as well so select a circle and i'm turning off the fill color you can turn on the fill color to keep it simple i am not applying the fill color but 
that doesn't affect this values so again increase some more little bit more so I will simply type this 185 again appearance panel and map art next this is now I think inside so if you want you can apply this inside no here as you can see and if you want to apply it inside as well you can do that so I'll go to next let's see So if I rotate this, you can see this is inside as well. As you can see, inside and outside, we can see the options. So this is how it looks I will zoom it a little bit so this is how it looks now let's say if I want to apply this on a random shape so I will create some shape using I will delete this using the pencil tool and make sure that the smoothness level is to the highest smooth now I'm going to draw a random stroke and if you want to make it even more smoother or even more smooth then use the smooth tool and if you want if you don't find the smooth tool over here simply go to these three dots and you can find it over here but it is already here so I will choose this and make it even smoother just if you want it smoother and again you can use the curvature tool like this So let's say I want this again if I want to make it smoother. Now I'm using I'm going to apply the same option 3D extrude and bevel. Again map part. Next, next and one. I think this is the other side. So maybe next one so this is how it looks so I will keep this outside and this is some different area that's why it is not showing over here so I will press ok and you can see this by rotating so this is how it looks so if you want to make it like a paper effect or something you can do this like this and if your design is final then we can convert this into an object expand appearance and you can make multiple copies of this if you want and use it in your designs maybe you are designing some concert tickets and or something like that so you can use this trick to easily apply this design into any object using the 3d options and map art option so that's it for this video if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers